single phase fully controlled rectifier using SCR in Proteus. The circuit we have to implement have the components uh, sinusoidal source, transformer, silicon controlled rectifier, potentiometer, and a resistor. For including uh, the components to our workspace, we have to click on P. For getting components, we have to type the keyword in this keyword space. For sinusoidal source, we have to type V sign. By when double clicking here, we can include which in our device. <coughs> then the transformer keyword is transformer itself uh, transformer selecting the symbol transformer then scr select any attacker scr attacker here library name then potentiometer which should be active one here is the active one then resistor type res in keyword select uh, resistors in category and 0.6 watt metal filling in subcategory select one k resistor from here and click on ok now we have to select the components into our workspace. First one, sinusoidal source. Just clicking on it and uh, click on our workspace. Where you want to place? Make the symbol there and click again. Next is transformer. For particular uh, proper view, we have to zoom. Then SCR rotating. I know potentiometer. This here was uh, two more. Now port again. Now the resistor place the components in an arranged way. Now connect the components using wire. Here is a mistake, uh, we want to delete this wire and uh, connect to the CRS itself.
adjust the value of potentiometer to low point Now giving the values to the source DC offset 0 amplitude uh, 230 volt frequency 50 Hertz click on OK and now the transformer values primary inductance 100 itself secondary inductance 1.89 milli Henry then OK we have to change the value of potentiometer to 4.7k Now we have to introduce output window using oscilloscope. We can click below the probe mode. This one for getting oscilloscope. The default one is oscilloscope. Just click here and place it. Channel A is connected to the output of transformer that means the step down value then our B channel is connected to the rectified output now we can simulate it by clicking this button run button by adjusting the time partition we can see that the output is obtained <coughs> 